It is about 1047, August 7th, 2010, after my first day pig hunting. And it was a long day. Started out with the uh, 10 seconds, 30 seconds out. As soon as I set out, saw eight pigs, maybe more, in a, I don't know if they're called a pack or a herd or a clan. Uh, I think it was about three or four sows and about five or eight piglets. And I thought I missed missed the uh, shot of a lifetime due to hesitation. It turns out it's a, I'm really glad I didn't take that shot because I was, in fact, in, um, I'm pretty sure, actually I'm not sure, either restri a restricted area or the wrong hunting area. I think, I'm pretty sure I was in restricted area, unintentionally. But uh, could have gotten in a lot of trouble if I had gotten caught. Although it's like not likely I would have gotten caught. And two people I've talked to about it said they would have taken the shot. I don't know if, if they're uh, how serious they were about. Um, I'm glad I didn't. I I believe in regulated hunting, and I play by the rules as best I can. And uh, I think. That's part of part of the reason that they were so comfortable in that area is because they know <clears throat> they know which uh, areas are um, hunting areas and which areas are not. I think haven't seen a pig since after a two hour hike in the afternoon scouting the area trying to just uh, trying to find that creek. I finally found it this evening just a couple hours before sundown. Um, got up up the middle of the hunting area 24 almost all the way to the top and came back saw a bunch of pig tracks on that trail going right through the middle of the hunting area but no pigs saw a bunch of does probably about 20 does total uh, plus the two buck I think there were elk bucks this morning saw a garter snake a couple rabbits of course I didn't have my shotgun uh, about a million ground squirrels which are off limits I think because they carry bubonic plague so they're everywhere uh, what else oh, I saw. I think I saw an eagle definitely saw a bunch of hawks a few, uh, a few other types of birds I'm not sure what they were a woodpecker um, a lizard oh, I saw some gigantic fish in the this morning right after I saw those pigs in the restricted area I saw some humongous fish in the creek uh, and I heard I heard pigs after that I think I heard a pig at the south reservoir just after sunset but I didn't see it so a few lessons learned one is to uh, get uh, sleep is very important I haven't had a good night's sleep I'm having a great time, I might, although I probably don't look like it because I'm exhausted. I uh, have not slept as much as I should. I overslept this morning. So controlling your sleep schedule is, is, is very important. Another thing is to uh, pay more attention when it comes to orienteering, learning to read maps, and learning to find where you are on the map and to get it right the first time I, I and I said I said before I left on this trip that if nothing else I hope to get better at using a compass and a map and that I have accomplished just in the just today so I don't feel disappointed I'm having a lot of fun just being out in nature and getting some time to myself and I've also met some nice people and saw two other people, two other hunters coming out around sunset in a jeep, and they said they hadn't seen any pigs. And I feel I feel lucky that that I at least got to see some pigs. And I just want to say that although I do still think that I can shoot a pig, the the pigs that I saw were beautiful, majestic, mysterious magnificent creatures and 
that that's part of why I hesitated because I was awestruck, just at the the way they moved, the way they looked, the way the the sows were organized and they're protecting the piglets. You know, the it looked look, looked like the fastest one was out front, which would make sense. The biggest one was bringing up the rear, which I guess also makes sense. And the two other sows were surrounding the piglets in the middle. I don't think they were all from the same litter. It seemed to be a group effort, a clan, where the uh, various sows were pooling the resources to protect their young. And they definitely saw me. They definitely uh, stopped and, and took note of me and then walked right past me, probably about 60 yards away. So I'm, I feel uh, satisfied just being being able to be out here in nature and and get better at orienteering and got to see some wildlife. Tomorrow's another day. I hope hope to get up on time. Although that would that would mean not getting enough sleep again. Uh, but maybe I can sleep in the afternoon tomorrow and try. To, I want to be out there an hour before sunrise which is tough for me because I'm used to staying up late but we shall see as I've said before one more day of hunting and just as a side note I'm washing my clothes I wash my clothes uh, between my, my sunrise outing and my sunset outing to try to keep my odor to a minimum. And I used uh, just a little bit of soap because the soap has a scent to it as well. And my boots, boots are breaking in pretty good. I, I like them, they're comfortable. I have the scent lock underwear and t-shirt, which um, hopefully will help. And although I did use a uh, bug spray and sunscreen which probably doesn't help as far as the pigs go but you know, I'm new at this I, when I when I went in the sunset outing and I, I noticed that I was headed into or uh, I was going with the wind in the beginning but I thought if I hiked with the wind for an hour then I could come back around and be going into the wind and catch them going to the water and sunset no such luck but I think it's a good it was a good theory anyway my point is I am trying to be aware of uh, what I'm doing and use some knowledge and skill which is limited but I feel like this is this whole thing is a, a learning experience and met some people at the uh, Lockwood Diner that had a few pointers and were nice good hamburgers there too so I think I'll uh, go check on my laundry and try to get some sleep and hope to see some pigs tomorrow morning